Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, the reality guys and producers must insist that none of these opinions be taken as facts. Now, please enjoy the show. Welcome back to the reality guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. Hi, everybody. We're back to talk our favorite Monday night show on Bravo. We are talking below deck. We're in season 10. This was episode 10, the Caribbean gigolo. Man, we had a quick return here, Brian, a quick return of Camille. We spent literally four or five weeks talking about leading up to the demise of Camille. Last week, she got fired at the beginning of episode. Captain Sandy kicks her off the boat real quick. Can't be a distraction. She came to dinner right after the thing. So she just chilled in St. Lucia and like went to the spa for a couple of days. And like, what was your just initial reaction? Yeah, we were just talking pre-show. Like we, I was not ready for it to be the next episode. So I, it logistically, it makes sense. But I mean, I mean, Ben is, he's hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. They are not going to last. Poor Ben. Spoiler yeah. alert for you, bud. If it hasn't happened to you in real life already, it ain't lasting. <laughs> really, though, another dynamic is like, Alyssa, like Camille is living rent free in Alyssa's head. Like Alyssa hasn't stopped talking about Camille even before Camille showed yeah. up. Like, mm-hmm. dude, just leave it be. Like, for all intents and purposes, you want. Like, but if you keep talking about it, you're gonna turn yourself into the villain. And I do see Alyssa, some of the tendencies here, like the stuff with Ross and just the jokes and some of this, the comments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, she's not so innocent, Brian. Yeah, I was kind of on team Alyssa, but it, I still think I am based off the obviously the Camille stuff. But next, the preview for next week doesn't look good for all of like Fraser and Co. The interior <laughs> minus Tyler, probably. Yeah, Tyler. I mean, yeah, I got a good vibe from Tyler off the bat. He seems like he's like a war, leagues ahead of what Camille could do. I was laughing at Tyler because, like, yeah, one, he knew how to do his job, fold, mm-hmm. like, clothes, do laundry. But even, like, the goofy moments are, like, streaking and jumping off. He's, like, the only dude who's, like, a normal dude. He's, like, some 19-year-old skinny kid. Like, they're mm-hmm. all other people are beautiful and all. And he's, like, I'm not the dude. The dudes this season are kind of, like, lame, honestly. Like, it's been enough episodes now, like, 10 episodes in. Like, this may be the weakest male cast. I've at least I've seen I've seen like six seasons maybe of of med and I think maybe one the original of of below deck I'll go back through but commenters let me know like are there crappier male seasons because I don't really enjoy like really even Tony's act is gone cold for me the whole you know it's not really it's not really Working funny in. anymore yeah so are you saying more like the personality yeah, they're just like yeah. Listen, there's been some cringe dudes on some other seasons, like different types of cringe, like macho, machismo, cringe bros, mm-hmm. like all different, but like a little more entertaining than like Ross just gets pissed drunk. Yeah, like, I don't like I don't weird. like Ross. Like, is there's there's plenty of alcohol. So, like Rachel used to get blackout drunk all the time on other seasons and stuff. Like other people mm-hmm. did, but like they just it's just not a great vibe i don't really like Alyssa. i'm not Alyssa. i don't really like um katie either like i don't i really don't i just don't it's stupid like this dude's goofy and you're just following they're just there's a lot of bad decisions going on right now in the crew and like captain sandy's kind of alluding to next week like i'm sorry to say but like i like fraser but he does not really have control of the ship right now or like he's not doing a good enough job at least telling them to like try to chill out a little bit because the the, the guests fired some hard shots at them on the way mm-hmm. out. In my right. opinion, those were pretty rough shots. I mean, they didn't say it was sucked, but they're like, we had to get our own drinks, like our own snacks, like too much. Yeah. Like things that you would expect at the bare minimum when you're paying that much money. Dude, it's so expensive. I've never understood this thing with the show. Again, people tell me if I'm wrong, but like they get like nothing for what they pay for. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I don't think I would do this. I don't think I would either for that money. Like I would go to the island and do like a day like cruise. Like they did like say for their day off. Like I would do something yeah. like that, like a catamaran. Mm-hmm. Like I did, I've done that at like res- different resorts and stuff. But like I would rent one out with my friends like you guys like for the day and do it. I don't need to like sleep on the boat and like get yeah, crappy the luster, dinner. Not for me. I would just rather go on a regular cruise and just pay. You don't even, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. it's just not, not doing it for me. And let me just go back to Ross. Like, He's 38 years finding out he's 38 years old and acting like that is just low integrity to me. I don't like him. I don't 
it's been not he's not good for the crew and like and he's I been on other shows there. captain sandy though like i she he, likes him he gives him the praise and i mean yeah. i guess he's a good bosun like they have had one thing i will say they have had no real actual like deckhand issues really this season doesn't mean it can't happen there's right. still time oh, yeah. but yeah. For now, like whatever, dude. But like for her being like a recovering like alcoholic and like things like that, like you would think she would maybe. I and I think that's got to come to a head at some point. She's gonna have to. That's gonna come into yeah, play. Yeah, something will slip up. Uh, speaking of slipping up, I just kind of want to talk the preview really quick. Uh, the Alyssa comment about Sandy uh, being on their D. On yeah, their, she's on, like taking a page out of Camille's book. Somebody's got to like, assume the mold. You have to think that people are listening and that like these producers are like shepherding Sandy yeah. wherever they she needs to be. Um, I'm curious like how this cast dynamic will affect the return of Captain Lee and if he takes the side of the cast versus Sandy. We've seen some comments and stuff on social media about him not being too happy about him, her dismissing Camille, her his crew members until and not telling him until after the fact. I think that's kind of BS. Uh, we'll probably throw a short together on that, but um, I think Captain Lee's overstepping a little there. Do you think that they like they are just doing some of these things for like content? I can, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them, but I'm gonna react to it as fact until I know it's fake. So <laughs> it's law, it's law on the ocean. Until I know, yeah, nautical reality, <laughs> nautical rules. law. I know it's fake. I treat <laughs> it as real. It's like an emergency situation, right? Mm-hmm. Um. Check out everything else we have going on on the channel this week. We have The Bachelor, Season 27, Week 2. We have things like Are You the One, Married at First Sight. Uh, the first week of a three-part challenge, um, Ride or Die's finale. Uh, well, what else are we covering this week? What I uh, Milf Manor. Oh, Milf Manor. Um, I just did the first daily of the U.S. being access, having access to Love Island. Um, and then Brett and I are going to check out 90 Day Fiance the other way. We just don't know exactly when we have a weird schedule this week with personal reasons. So check out the shorts, check out our TikToks for a bunch of reality clips. Uh, look out even for our shorts and other things to start having more things related to like news and just quick opinions or poll questions type of things for you guys. Not all just original content and that type of thing. So uh, for myself, Brian, uh, my thank you. Peace.